Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Cryptarch. I'm Fwop, and we are about to attack the Cryptarch. It's a level 8 ship with two cores, um, plenty of everything, uh, and an 11 and a half minute time, line, uh, time limit. Uh, it wants us to keep the armorings. There's only one of those, so that's doable. It wants us to have a max of 100k loadout. That's laughably uh, yeah, not possible. And it wants us to destroy sensor jammers. Uh, it's annoying, really annoying that it's jammed. Uh, if you didn't have the sensor technology, that could be brutal. I can't remember if it was jammed before. Ship class Cryptarch. This massive carcass is the flagship of the alien fleet, the veritable fortress that guards the unique Xenotech we're getting paid to recover. Um, if you want to maximize your score on the Cryptarch, it, to me, it looks like ignoring the bonus objectives pretty much is what's what, what we should be doing. Um, I wouldn't mind destroying everything in the Cryptarch. The shields, uh, it's going to be a pain. Uh, I'm not sure. It's such a big, brutal mission. It might not even be worth it to... Oh, okay. Personally, okay, it's got flat cannons on the outside. Whew. The repair stations, we need to start disabling systems quickly. The repair stations are what we need to do that. It looks like there's internal space as well as external space. There's two cores. Each guard by an alarm and a shield. Uh, there's a shield on this sentry. At least it's not the repair. Uh, we're going to want to take out the stealth capabilities of this ship fairly quickly. And... Do I... I guess I'm going to have to waste... Alright, let's forget nukes. This is a... This is a mission of survival mission. So we want at least 10 health. We probably just want to max out our health. Um, remember, we just I just want to win this time. So let's look at what weapons we got. We got the chain gun. Um, I'll show you how it works. It's not particularly impressive at this point. But it does speed up and do a withering amount of damage. Um, not nearly as useful as piercing weapons, of which I might bring two frags, actually. Um, I am not, not above. They're kind of my favorite weapons in the game, the machine guns. Um, sure, the ammo's cheaper, but whatever. Uh, we got the tractor beam, very efficient, good way to save ammo. Um, uh, it fires a very... Uh, you, you have to be pretty precise with the tractor beam, but you can capture enemies, use them as shields, and then throw them at each other for serious damage, serious damage. Cluster grenades, uh, sure, cluster grenades are nice. Let's observe these. Alright, lots of little sub munitions. Um, at this point in the game, once again, not the most impressive. Frag grenades, maybe the most impressive. Uh, so this is the same stuff we're shooting here, except in grenade form. Lots of damage, excellent room clearer. Totally safe for you, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so a excellent in-game weapon. Might be something we decide to take. Nuke grenades, I don't think I've ever seen these. Looks like a very small nuke. Um, Alright, well that is pretty awesome. I wouldn't say no. Can you cook it? <laughs> uh, so this is the only time you'll survive a nuke. Um, but that's kind of hilarious. So those are cool. Um, high explosive rocket. These are good for hitting systems. 
Uh, I think the remote rocket is basically a better version of that. I don't think it does more damage than most rockets. The nuke rocket is perfect. Remote rockets can be activated at your leisure. Nope, that I think... Yeah, okay. So the difference between the rocket and the grenade is that the grenade loses speed after a while and the rocket will just keep going. Um, is the rocket more expensive? I bet the rocket's more expensive. 20? Because you can fire it at, at enemies that are further away. 20 for 4, yeah. Rockets are twice as expensive. The quick shield, uh, single deflect the hit will drain the power cell and disperse the shield, uh, but then you can immediately use it again. Oh, look, we can have bow shields, interesting. Uh, I don't find the quick shield to be that useful, but hey. An EMP blaster, so this is an infinite ammo EMP weapon. It looks like it does take quite a while to start charging, though it charges quite quickly. So you want to be a little sparing with it. Uh, but it does seem to last quite a while. Uh, an excellent weapon. Uh, I think we need a little more destructive potential. I think the R nukes are going to be my jam. We're going to take a lot of them. Okay, we are looking at a 60k loadout right now. We've got Q ammo, sensors, two repair kits, um, 20 R nukes, 400 frag ammo. Um, and we can just chew through systems with our combination of nukes. And of course, the old trusty shield. Uh, yeah, it does not look like the shields protect you from nukes. Note to self. Okay, we can pretty easily tear through juggernauts. Uh, we can even use nukes on them. We just need to get inside and wreak havoc. Um, if I can just blow through here, work my way down, destroy all this stuff, eventually destroy this repair system. We're just gonna assume we'll be fighting the whole way through. We wanna fight past this. It would be great to nuke that, get to that repair system. I think this is actually a ring ship because these flat cans only appear on the in space outside. So I'm kind of confused about that. Uh, we're totally ignoring the bonus objectives, although destroying the jammer suits me just fine. And I'll tack on uh, 75K to my final score just that way. The mine layer is annoying, as you know, because mines don't show up. All right, so I think we're ready. Um, you know what? Let's just... tack more ammo on there. We're probably gonna crush it uh, because we're spending 742k. Uh, this is a really expensive loadout. Let me in, let me in. Those flat cannons. Gonna, uh, uh, bad, bad. Knock, knock. Said the big bad wolf. Okay. What? I don't even. That is annoying. That is an. That is. I don't. I don't even. Nope, 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 don't want that. Where are we? Okay, let's make our way to this repair system. Or let's actually go after this one and destroy this stupid sensor thing. Oh, locked door. Okay, that wall bounce, so good. Block that shot. Get away from this thing. Okay. Screw you, stealthy imajigger.
Okay, killing things. Let's go ahead and take this out. going next let's kill this cannon oh it's got an alarm system uh, there's a juggernaut maybe we should kill it kill this flak grab this key card I could just swing out those stupid flat cannons will shoot at me let's kill Grab this key terminal. Let's go up here. Best gun ever. Okay, let's ignore that thing. Save our key, fly around. We killed the flat cannon. What's being repaired right now? Uh, that's that stealth bullshit. Not a problem. Just gotta repair this stupid repair. And kill the repair. These cannons are offline. goodness that mine layer thing it's been a while. I don't know that I've seen a mine layer okay and we do have exactly one key so let's go in through here really as the stealth comes online. Let's go kill this mine layer. I don't know where the mine layer went. Okay, this juggernaut factory. Okay, let's kill this juggernaut. Oh, that thing's behind me. Be hard to. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and destroy this drone factory since we're up here. Armoring and this shield look fine. Fine targets. Just take your time, disable it. Money means nothing unless it means everything to you. Oops. 
was exactly the wrong time. Okay, give that one a double shot. Let's go destroy that. Gotta remember I have these R nukes. I've been playing pretty conservatively with them. Don't have a key, huh? There's a key. There's the door lock. Let's actually go for that. Is down, got popped for it. Ah. Okay, ammo still looking pretty good. Using up more ammo on the top than on the bottom. Okay, I did destroy jammer. Oh no, I suppose I just haven't not destroyed jammers yet. We've got four and a half minutes left. We've whittled down everything. Let's destroy. You know what? Let's just take our time. Destroy a lot of subsystems, make it easy on ourselves. Just for fun. Uh oh. Oh, that thing shielded. Oh. Okay, let's come up here and destroy both these shields. Hate you, juggernauts. Nukes will bounce off. of uh, of those shields, uh, all the rockets will, which can be a total pain in the butt. Okay, let's actually go past this one. Oh, what is that? It looks bad. Good shooting. Don't waste my ammo. Okay. 
That was quality. This core is now defenseless. Let's just come out here and finish it. Still got two and a half minutes on the clock. And let's go ahead and use our fixed tin. We now have no more health. Just spray and pray a little bit. Help yourself out. Don't screw around with Juggernaut shots. Alright, fight. These guys might be immune to nukes. Okay. One down, minute 17 left. Uh, forget the juggernaut factory, forget the mine layer. Uh, this alarm we certainly want to take care of. Uh, and it might be best if we just come around to here. Uh, there's plenty of enemies in the way. Nothing's regenerating. Only juggernauts are spawning, and they don't spawn all that fast. Uh, and we still have 100 shots left. I am glad I opted for a ridiculous loadout. Almost 80,000 or 1,000 uh, banks. Uh, I guess that's a 800,000 loadout, yeah. Sorry, brain's not totally working. Remember to boost. You can use that shift when you feel safe and don't mind taking your attention off of other things. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a bad idea. That was the right idea. Okay, this alarm, we would definitely want to nuke that. Almost did the trick. And now this core is defenseless. Just want to get some nukes in there to destroy all of its helpers. Did we get it? Okay, you need the shields. All right, Cryptarch, you're going down. You're going down. And it's over. Cryptarch is ours. Let's fire off some fireworks here. <sighs> okay. So we wrap up the Cryptarch. Um, Obviously, it's not impossible, and the more money you spend on your loadout, the easier every map is. So it's a balance between how hard you can handle and um, how much money you want. Um, I mean, to me, it looks like if I had all the technologies I needed, I only need about 800k, and I can finish the game. I can beat the last level. So it's not about, it's not all that difficult to win it is um, difficult to judge the risk reward balance I would say so we salvage the cryptarch let's I revel work, captain. This critical asset has been contained. Your contract is fulfilled. We'll take it from here. 
Thank you, lizard people. All right, campaign completed. It looks like our score is exactly equal to the revenue we made. Um, that is total revenue. It does not include how much we spent. This would be our modified how much cash we have left at the end. Uh, so it looks like spending money doesn't actually count against your end score, but of course everyone's going to be impressed with a super high bank at the end. Uh, and that's where the leaderboards come in. Oh, you won't be able to see that, uh, I think. So guys, uh, that is how the Cryptarch is won. Uh, I would say that the Frag Shotgun is probably the best weapon in the game right now. The uh, Piercing Heavy Machine Guns are close. The Storm Hammer is excellent, but you can't use it enough against swarms of enemies, though it does kind of blow through everything in a, a decent swath. Um, but yeah, frag grenade, the remote, the nuke rockets and the nuke grenades are incredibly useful. Um, I can see the rockets being significantly better than the grenades, but the grenades are no joke and they're much cheaper. Um, the rockets probably aren't that much better than the grenades, but they do let you fire from a ways away if you can get a clear line of sight. One of the things we didn't get to see was the hush puppy. A sniper EMP weapon. It does tons of damage, fires really slowly, and disables your target. Uh, it's an excellent weapon and even a good one to take in conjunction with other weapons. It can one-shot a lot of the weaker enemies. Uh, it fires at extreme range with incredibly high accuracy. It makes a good secondary weapon. So, um, yeah, I think... I'll probably come back to Let's Play Cryptarch because I love Cryptarch, but that is the end of Series 1. Uh, and when you come back, it'll be Series 2, S2, dot, Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, of course, if you want to win Cryptarch, then I think you should do as I say. Until next time, 